All right. Hello, everyone. I am Ike. I'm going to be playing some Kaizo Monkey Bell for you guys. Uh, but before that, let's introduce everyone here on commentary. Uh, Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm Peter. Uh, Peter Singh, fellow Monkey Ball speedrunner. Uh, we have over here. Hey, I'm Monkey, uh, here to be funny and count deaths. <laughs> and I'm Ganon. I run Mario Odyssey, but I also dabble in Monkey Ball. So. Awesome. So uh, I don't know if you've ever seen a, a Kaizo game before, Kaizo game at GDQ before. Uh, you might know the drill. Uh, we're going to be playing some really hard uh, custom levels. I'm going to be dying a lot. Um, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be donating a dollar per death. I think a yeah, Peter. I'll and be joining in on that. Again, you're yeah. going to be the one counting them. Um, if you want to join in at home, uh, my PB dies 20 times. Uh, I probably on average I die like 50 to 60 times. Um, and maybe the max I could see is like 80 to 100. Um, so if you want to trust your money with me, uh, go ahead and, uh, <laughs> you know, think about some amount you want to do per death. All right. So uh, I'll just do uh, G, D, Q. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to do three, two, one, go. All right. Three, two, two one, one, go. go. <laughs> All right. So this first level is actually one of the hardest levels in the game right here. Um, I have to do this like a really specific setup to get onto this like ceiling here and then drop it in this goal that's moving right. Yes. Right. Wow. First try. That is actually oh, a really good that first try. That is so hard. Yes. Okay. That like usually you just kind of reset until you get that first try, but like I'm really glad I just kind of got that. Um, that's excellent. Oh, oh get Whoa. in there. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so if you've never seen Monkey Ball before, it's like pretty simple. You know, you just roll the ball uh, around, you know, just get in the goal. Um, it's, uh, you know, not... Uh, oh! Oh! oh hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Still deathless. Let's go, wow, let's go. Deathless into the final stage? That'll save me money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, we're going to be uh, just trying to get in the goal. You know, nothing super crazy. A lot of the speed run is just kind of going to be like, uh, you know, trying to die as little as possible. There's not going to be maybe as many skips. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, not going to be as many skips as you'd probably see in a normal Monkey Ball run, but there's still going to be a fair number of them. Actually, one of the bigger ones is on the very next stage after this one. Um, so let's... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Very nice. Right, nice light. Nice you don't want to do that goal entry on the outside. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this level is like really, really long. If you do this whole path, it's like five minutes or something. It takes forever. Um, thankfully, if I kind of do a little bit of like specific hits here... Oh, like in, nice. Nice. Yes. Okay, okay. So, yeah, that, uh, this makes the five minute level into like a 30 second level. There's, a, um, there's an alternate, like, easier skip that kind of looks intended um, that makes it into a one minute level, but it's still like, I mean, you have even a 30, I have actually almost died there. It's still like a, <laughs> I still a 30 second save over that. That's pretty good. Uh, we're probably not going to be deathless out of this level. This one's pretty stupid. Yeah, this is the first, like, um, real say, dumb did, level. <laughs> oh, yeah. There it is. There's, 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 there's one. There's monkey ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're going to be counting a lot if you're oh, counting out loud. I will not be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. OK, a little off, a little off. They weren't lying with that stage name. Oh, Ooh, Ooh, really nice. the there we go. <laughs> you got through there. Yeah, so something interesting a lot of people uh, kind of ask about the game is like, oh, you know, do you like tilt the stage or do you move the monkey? You know, how does it work? Uh, the way you actually move in this game is you, uh, you just tilt the direction uh, that gravity uh, affects on the monkey. And if you ever uh, learn anything about like a uh, physics class, you know, like tilting a vector, uh, basically means that the closer the control stick is to neutral, the stronger your like straight downwards gravity is. So that's going to be actually pretty relevant on this stage. I want to do some specific movements in the air to get a high hit here. OK, that's the one. Oh, OK, a little <laughs> off. It's hard to do that ascending goal entry. It's like a little blindish. Um, I already forgot the death count. What is that? Uh, four. Four. <laughs> OK, that's doing my job. Yeah, if you don't have a setup for that level, you are just not going to beat it. Um, <laughs> this level, oh, something interesting, the timer is not moving. That's just a, an intended feature of the game. I'm going to count, I uh, kind of, OK, well, let's just go, actually. OK. Yeah, we go on that. There you go. Easy, Zero, easy. one, two, three, four, five. OK. Ooh. Nice. Excellent. Nice counting, nice counting. Also, you can see uh, the, the maker of this game, uh, Twilight, has a, uh, you know, uh, very much uh, enjoyed, uh, you know, we'll see some of the epic names that some of the levels have. Also, shout-outs to um, uh, when I submitted this game. Uh, oh, stay on there. Um, the uh, 
It was kind of like a, it's a little bit weird. It's like a lot of levels were in like default backgrounds. It was almost a little bit of an abandoned project. But uh, when it got accepted in the GDQ, uh, one, uh, someone who's in the community, uh, really, really talented at uh, like re-texturing levels, um, a eucalyptus went and retextured everything to be all from a bunch of different uh, uh, worlds from different Monkey Bell fan games. So this is from a classic hat called Super Heka Mecha. All these, uh, this world textures. Okay, don't need to, not done yet. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, yeah, so, the, and the previous world, uh, that like lake, is from a uh, hat, uh, oh, that Super <laughs> Heck Mecha is by uh, Mechalico, by the way. Uh, that uh, previous uh, world, uh. yeah, let's go. That's actually really easy. The physics of the game are <laughs> deterministic, so you can kind of just hold up and then do a little adjust when you hit that thing. And that's good. Uh, this the next level is really hard, though. Um, oh, why did I do that? Um, <laughs> You're pausing. You're pausing. Thinking. Uh, but uh, the previous world is from a hat called uh, Super Mario Ball Organic Dreamscape by Pinto Bean. Uh, oh. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This one's pretty hard. But I might die a couple times. Hopefully, we don't have to get too cozy here. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ah. <laughs> Monkey doesn't even need to count the deaths, man. Yeah, exactly. that's like, that's making it, a job. Doing easy. Your job. That's half your jobs here. What, the heck? Need, what, are you, what are you even up here for anymore, huh? Exactly. It's not going to be funny. It's okay. That was half. That, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's you a level later in this world. <laughs> <laughs> you guys might be counting a lot on that level. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. No. Nice. Oh, that was close. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that uh, World 1 is from uh, Super Mario Organic Dreams. He has like a demo by Pinto Bane. He's a really awesome guy, really awesome player. He's been around like forever. I uh, love that guy. Uh, he's, oh, uh, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but something I want to mention, uh, the kind of the level that's like the reason why people don't really speed run this hack very much or this game uh, is that uh, it's, oh, um, oh, hello? Hey, you're, good. Hey. you're good. You're good. Get in there. Oh, yes. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 2-7, uh, it's called One Ball Step, what we're going to be doing. So I mentioned the, the physics jumbler. are... The yeah, jumbler. Good. I mentioned the <laughs> physics are, like, deterministic. Uh, but when it comes to hitting, like, edges of platforms, um, it's kind of luck-based, depending, like, what happens here. Sometimes you won't get a hit at all. Like, there, like, yep. it, logically, I should have gotten clipped up there. Um, but I kind of just didn't. Uh, it's really hard to explain why it's... Uh, I think the analogy I like to give a lot is, like, think of it like... Oh, dang, that would have been good if I got that clip. Uh, is think of it like flipping a coin where if you um, if you could flip it exactly the same way every single time, uh, then ah, oh. a little too far. Uh, then you could always get the same result, right? Uh, but when we're playing this, uh, this, you know, you're moving the sticker. Oh, that's just kind of unavoidable. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, another type of thing that can happen on clips. Uh, the uh... oh. Oh, hey, yes. Nice. yes, you can, you can get stuck on that stage for minutes. It is so good to get past that fast. That is awesome. So that was a great lesson. Uh, like, I had a bunch of other stuff I was going to say about, like, clips and, like, the weird stuff. Like, that one that sent me really far left, um, uh, all that. Um, this is a good level name. Uh, <laughs> it's also a really good level if you don't play what? it the intended way. Um, uh uh, it's got a, oh, oh, that's not what usually happens. Oh, oh we're, we're in there. Okay. We're living. <laughs> yeah, if you don't do what I just did there, that level is like, oh my goodness, that level is rough. All right. Uh, speaking of rough levels, uh, what you're supposed to do on this one is this really long slide with a bunch of bumpers. The or booper boopers. Factor. The uh, boopers. Yeah. Yeah, the booper factory. factory. It's not bumpers. Yeah. Um, you're supposed to go, there's like a wormhole, like a teleport at the bottom. It takes you all the way back up to the top, but on the bottom of this thing, uh, and you're supposed to use all your speed to like ride the underside of this all the way down. That like just does not work at all. <laughs> it, like you kind of have to fall off the side of the platform and like maneuver around uh, the side of it to get the goal. Because the goal is on the underside of this at the very end. It's this kind of like a, a those boopers speed, are coming. Oh my god, oh, speed bump! Oh, oh my god. You're good. You're good. I think we're good. You're good. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is going great. That was awesome. <laughs> I want everyone to keep in mind he's doing this while talking like the entire time. I was going to say, like, this is ridiculous. Like he is just that good at this I've game. I've been saying, yeah, this guy won't stop talking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this uh, uh, this uh, world is from uh, a really, really good uh, Super Monkey Ball fan game uh, called Super Monkey Ball Gaiden, uh, made by my brother, actually. Uh, it's 
amazing. Like you, you guys should play. Not just because he's my brother. Like it's actually amazing. Like, we, we, we all agree. Gosh. We all agree, and we're all not his brothers. So yeah, true. Like I say, if, if you're gonna play a monkey ball pack, play this one. Yeah, it's really good. For real. Ike, if I may make a quick announcement. Absolutely. We have unlocked the difficulty showcase for Spin Rhythm XD, everyone. Woo! Hey, let's go. That incentive is still open again for the site big bonus song, but we are third of a way to get fire and flames on the Clone Hero set list. Everybody, keep it going. Yeah, so they decided that they wanted the level name to be all caps this time. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> you know, just. It I, is what it is. I if guess. I saw a device like this, I would yell. That is true. This is yeah. quite the contraption. I've been yelling about this, yeah. <laughs> no, it's a real gizmo. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah, th this uh, this upcoming level is a, uh, a little silly. We got some, uh, <laughs> some this giant grid of uh, bumpers. They Not really boopers, decide actually. to send you any which way. Oh. I really just got to... This uh, is one of the stages of... Oh, oh my God. Dude, wait. No first way. try. Not a first try. Oh, no, get in there. Oh, the <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> wow. Wow. No, and dude. they said the it couldn't be done. The game spared me, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this, this uh, strat's probably my favorite in the run. Uh, it's... Okay. This level really? is also our cutest. Yeah, run. it's our cutest level. Ah, okay, yeah. If you touch like pretty much any floor or wall that you don't mean to, you're just dead. Uh, this saves a lot of time, though. You're supposed to kind of go around these blocks. At least I, oh, dang. At least I think you're supposed to kind of go around like one at a time. Like each time they do a little cycle, you move like one block out, go along one side, go along the other. So even if I die a few times, okay. Uh, nice. Then yeah, we still do that. Uh, shout outs to uh, Eddie uh, zero seven seven seven. Uh, Eddie is like my just, goat. Yeah, he's like awesome. He found that strat. He's just like insane in the game. He's awesome. Uh, speaking of Eddie, uh, we're gonna be doing. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing some like really thin wires here. Uh, this is a kind of deceptively difficult because these bows are like swaying back and forth real slightly. So I kind of have to like do some weird Ooh, pass our Ooh. Ooh. Oh, don't Ooh. die. Ooh. Oh. I was just doing that one to scare nice. you. Nice. That level is named for the sound you make when you almost die on it as well. <laughs> that is so. true. Dude, <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, my God. Dude, okay, there we go. <laughs> I want to go to the stage. All right. Um, yeah, I guess something I kind of forgot to mention as well about uh, Monkey Ball and how the movement works. Uh, so uh, the controls are actually mapped to like a, um, like a square, so the diagonals are stronger than the cardinal direction. So there's some times where it's a lot better to use the diagonals on the stick as opposed to like straight forward and stuff. Um, so we're going to be doing this here. And when I climb up a lot of these steep slopes on the back side of this level, uh, we're going to be like kind of snaking back and forth a little. That's just to make make use of the um, the diagonals, like the stronger dial or diagonals on the stick. Uh, it's climbing them a lot faster. There, it's like uh, climbing slopes like this is a good time. Uh, at the start of levels, you probably see me like swerving a little bit at the start of a lot of levels. Um, that's useful for that. Um, and also on the next few stages, uh, when you're in the air, uh, you can get more distance um, uh, by kind of snaking in the air a little bit like that, uh, using the diag. <laughs> it's similar to Knight's level name, by the way. Yeah, um, don't read it. The economy. Yeah, don't look at it too close. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, oh, oh that? the economy's in shambles. Shot me back. Economical disaster. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I just uh, did a little... Yeah, too much there. Um, I drifted there. I think I'm probably dead. Stocks uh, are oh, down. Wait, maybe not. Oh, surely. Oh. Surely this goes in. Clueless. Okay. Oh. oh my God, okay, dude! I like. Blue full. I, would I like run through the party Blue ball there. Blue ball. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, you can kind of like use the diagonals in the air. It's uh, similar to what I said earlier about how you kind of control uh, the. Uh, direction of, I really need a boost here, okay. Nice. You control the direction of gravity, so by kind of going to the diagonals, you're getting like even less downwards uh, gravity here. Um, look at the mini-map on this level. Run, Yeah, we, 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 we want to run here. Uh, okay, let's, oh, that's good. Nice. That was a jump, I think you're just supposed to run here. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> okay. Very right, nice. Yeah. That's good. Uh, shout out to uh, This World is from uh, Super Monkey Ball Launch, uh, which released really this year. It's uh, by Die Root. It's another really, really good Super Monkey Ball fan game. Uh, it's quite difficult, but I really recommend playing it. It's really awesome. One of my favorites. Ooh, okay, nice that's, cycle. Really nice yeah, that's cycle. like a cycle skip there. Uh, a lot of times, if you don't really do that right, you kind of have to you know, go around in the maze a little bit, weirdly. Uh, not great, but thankfully. Ooh, I was kind of getting down. <laughs> okay. Oh, You're a little this jig. is not where I usually am. Oh my god. Okay, this is not where you want to be. Okay. You're good. You're good. Okay. Nice. It, it's pretty hard to do that a little fast. You're supposed to like go on each of those carpets like real slowly. 
uh, you know, time it like when it turns around, or, like when the carpet. This is a directions. serious free fall situation. Yeah, here. we're kind of gonna try and. Oh, oh. Uh, can we live? Uh, can no, you we, live? Yeah, Do we you live? live. Where we can't live that one. <laughs> this is my favorite Fall Guys stage. <laughs> That's so There's a guy true. falling right now. That's actually. true. No, it's okay, yeah, that. we're not living that either. We want to fall in, not fall out. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Facts. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe it's next time. It's a pretty tough goal angle. It's kind of like a pretty tight angle compared to your falling speed. You're doing a good job of falling into the kill plane. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what? I haven't oh, actually dude. hit it, you know? I'm, oh, yeah, I'm retrying before I get to it, so, you know, maybe not. You're gonna retry uh, or re-die? Think or about re -die. it. Re-die. Well, I'm just, you know. Hey! Oh. <laughs> that was a nice... Is that a post group? Uh, maybe, actually. <laughs> yeah, I haven't died enough. You know, I gotta, gotta give a little bit to the charity, you know? True. Uh, so something cool on this level, I did I do that? Okay, there, okay. So this is actually a way to do this stage like 20 seconds faster, uh, but it's really, really difficult. Like absolutely not possible for um, like a full game run. But what people do a lot in Monkey Ball, people do like individual level uh, speed runs and high school runs because the, uh, the timer, you know, it doesn't run in this game, but like in everything else, um, it's like a frame accurate timer, and the score system is like really good. So people do like score individual level runs as well. It's a really big scene. Like it's part of what I love about Monkey Ball. It's like what really got me into it back in 2019. Oh, is that late? Okay, no, we're good. Is um, doing individual level like time and score runs. It's really really fun. Uh, really easy to get into. Uh, I think. Um, okay, uh, you could probably go for a donation on the like climb up here. Uh, that would be awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We got ourselves $20 from Eccentric Biped. Say, I go bananas for Monkey Ball, or do I go Monkey Ball for bananas? Mm, quite the quandary. Thank you so much. We also have ourselves $10 from Snack Sack. Saying, so excited for some Monkey Ball. Here's my $10 donation. One for each banana I think I can eat in an hour. Please watch your potassium <laughs> levels, everyone. Very important. Thank you so much. <laughs> And we are at $21,000 out of the $60,000 needed to get through the fire and flames into Guitar Hero. Y'all are doing great chat. Keep it on up. Back to you, Ike. Awesome, sir. Yeah, I really want to focus here. I do not want to do all that again. So I'm going to take my sweet time lining Ooh. this up. Uh, calm down, I. Ike's got it under control. Jack, get up there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Nice save. Ah, okay. Nice. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, you were out of that one. <laughs> Play Gotta with, make it interesting. Play you, with my heart a little bit. You were I, kind of on the rail there. I heard you. I heard yeah. you yell like I for a second there. Yeah, that like that rail you ride up. If you've ever gotten to the master levels in Super Monkey Ball One, uh, and you've played Master Three or Stamina Master as it's known in Deluxe, uh, it's as thin as the like the rail at the start of that. If you like, it's thin as like uh, the thinnest rail on like you know training curvy options. A lot of those options levels, you know, you'd see in the uh, vanilla game. It's. Uh, Thin as those, and you gotta like stop on a really thin spot at the top as well. Oh, that's uh, it's pretty rough. Also, I want to give a, another shout out to my uh, my main man Nambo, Nambo. on this level. Shout out uh, he's Nambo. just uh, he's actually in the middle of uh, almost done making a, a new uh, Monkey Ball fan game of his own called Super Monkey Ball Stardust, uh, which I'm really really looking forward to. Uh, and he said that this level is like been one of the biggest inspirations for his design. This kind of really big like open kind of just like you know doing a lot of air movement uh, type of levels. Um, really looking forward to that one. Um, yeah, we're going to play a little bit of Toho here, hopefully. Uh, oh, <laughs> that wasn't too good. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay, so we go there. Oh. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, a little setup. You can run through all, uh, all those. There's no random cycles. You know, they're always in the same spots every time. It's a little disorienting level here. These uh, bottom platforms kind of show... Um, you know, what, where the invisible floor that I'm rolling on is, and it also doesn't, like, tilt with the stage. Like, the stage tilt is just a visual that uh, kind of reflects that, like, you know, the direction that you're moving in. It's kind of got to do this last part blind. Okay. That was so clean, dude. That was fast. It also doesn't show up on the mini-map as well, which makes it pretty hard. Okay, so this is the hardest world in the run, starting at 5-3, but I also want to uh, give a shout-out as well. Uh, so this is this world's from Super Monkey Ball 651. Uh, which is one of my favorite hacks. It's like what or games really got me into speedrunning uh, Monkey Ball. Uh, one, what is something I think is really special about it is the entire soundtrack is all uh, original music by uh, Jim Nopity, uh, which is really good, including what you're hearing right now. Uh, it's really awesome. Actually, in fact, uh, Scrap651, who made Super Monkey Ball 651, also released a new uh, fan game 
uh, just this past week called Super Mega Ball Invasion, which also has an entire soundtrack like originally composed by Jim Nopity, which I think is like amazing. Like if you told me that I'd be playing like new Monkey Ball games with like entirely original music in 2023, like if you told me that five years ago, I would have said you were crazy, man. Okay, this stage is really, really difficult. Okay, I'm gonna focus, count the turns, not miscount. Okay. The reason why this whole stage is so difficult is because the stage is falling out from under you consistently. So you have, really have to manage your speed. You also have to know where you're going because there's zero indicator on where you're going for for fun, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> they really don't call it die dance for nothing. Fair enough. It's a single single dice block, that's why. Oh. Nice. First try! <laughs> they really didn't call it die dance. Yeah. They should rethink that level name. Live we're dance. not going to die. <laughs> Live dance. I've been thinking. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's funny, like, there's actually a level I mentioned uh, Super Mario Ball Gaiden earlier, uh, which is probably, like, one of the more popular, like, uh, Super Mario Ball fan games. Uh, there's, like, a level called in that called Genesis, which, if you played that, it's not, like, that hard of a level. You might think, oh, you know, it's, like, you know, just like Genesis. Like, yeah, it's that whole thing about how it's falling away from you, and the, the other level kind of flips you up. And having it flip you up makes it a lot easier. Uh, so this is a pretty, actually, not cute level. It's really hard. No, I think this level like, kind of knocks the oh. other the other cute level out of the park as far as cuteness goes. Is this a like new cutest level alert? I think I think it'll be my new number one. It's up there for me. It's nice you can skip the easy part of the beginning so you could, oh, what is this camera? Okay, uh, let's actually move back a little. Okay. Goal is upside down for fun. <laughs> just cause? Yeah, just, okay. Nice. That's pretty fun. I had fun watching that. It was a good time. All right, yeah, this is, uh, I mentioned, you know, clips uh, being all, uh, all funky in this game. I really need to run at these in a specific ways to actually get past this every time. Okay, this is oh. weird. All right. Think you're good? Okay. Nice. Yeah, if you run at those like too fast or in a weird way, uh, a lot of times you just run straight over them and just get no collision and you just die, oh, which is excellent. Um, this is a cool level, but we're just going to skip the whole thing. Um, you know what happened to London Bridge? <laughs> it's falling down. <laughs> It got skipped. All right. Hey, if you ever played uh, Super Mario Bros. 1 uh, and you know Expert 7 or you know Exam C, uh, we're going to be playing a harder version of this level now. Uh, I'd say this is probably, like, actually the hardest level in the run because uh, the uh, wire path at the end uh, has some jumps in it that you need to run at with some speed to clear. Um, we really want to try and get this, especially the third jump is just, uh, let me just do it. Ooh, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, and it also is like right at the end, so you lose a bunch of time if you miss it. Uh, it's kind of at like a weird angle. You need to like jump and also like be angled in there. And like, you know, no jump button. You're trying to getting the jump by running at the thing with speed and like good luck getting speed on that thing. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna you know, just hopefully get it this time. Yeah, that jump is by far the single hardest obstacle in this whole run. Yeah, it's like, yeah, if a single, like, one-second maneuver. Okay, nice. So that's nice. the hard one. Let's nice. go! Let's, Let's go. go! Dude, dude, we're gaming right now. All right. Okay, yeah, this uh, this level, I'm going to be uh, kind of abusing the uh, deterministic physics here. I'm going to be holding up for 26 seconds. Uh, so, you know, doing the exact same thing. We're going to get the same hits every single time. Um, and we're going to get popped up. Uh, by one of the edges. What a bye. Uh, Everyone waved down. How's it going, man? No, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> See ya. Wait. Uh, oh, oh hey, wave again. Again. What's up? I don't really know why he does that. <laughs> he gets bored. <laughs> yeah, he's just okay. chilling. You're holding up the whole time. Yeah, so once I leave this thing, some magic might happen. So boom, 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 boom. Okay. Oh, I think that's too far. Okay, that's a little too far. But we can actually back that up. That still skips all the outer circles, which is nice because it's really slow. Like, this whole level is all about really slowly moving through these circles. Um, and I think, is it back here? It kind of depends on the cycle. Usually it's better hi, to go hi, back because, okay, yeah, there it is. <laughs> and I got to time this exit. Oh, he's dancing. He's <laughs> just chilling. Bro <laughs> just sat down. <laughs> yes. Nice. You can start to lose so much time on that level. It, like once you miss the goal, like it's pretty hard to time that because the goal is like flying around really quickly there. Um, so that's cool. Um, that went really well. That world five was awesome. Yeah, that was, oh, yeah, that yeah. was great. Had, that was like very one nice. death on uh, five, uh, five eight. Okay, yeah. This uh, this level. If you've ever, uh, I don't know if you ever tried to roll like a tennis ball on like a PVC pipe or something like that. We're gonna be like basically doing that right now. Um, I need to. I have not tried that. 
I don't, so I, I don't you know if anyone have? ever has. I, I've right, done no, that. Didn't work on that. Nice. Very yeah. nice. There we go. Right. That is so much harder than yeah, it looks. I, I promise that level is like really dumb. Yeah. Uh, there's not a whole lot of super crazy stuff going on until like six seven. So if you need, uh, if you have some donations, uh, that would be a pretty cool time to read them. Thank you so much, Jake. There is so much love coming in for the Super Kaiser Monkey Bell Run. So much love. We've got ourselves a $10 donation from Helix13. Yo, what's up, Helix? What up? Saying it's awesome to see Super Monkey Ball fan games return to the GDQ stage, and I can't think of a better person to show one off. You're unbelievably skilled and have definitely earned this. I, I wish you luck, but I know you don't need it. It's indeed. Thank oh. you so much. Maybe I needed it there. <laughs> <laughs> We also got an anonymous $50 donation saying simply, yes, monkey chef, <laughs> let him cook. <laughs> and we also have ourselves a donation from II from the monkey ball right now. Wow. No <laughs> they way. leave a That's very crazy. touching comment, if I may. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, II. It'll be over soon. We promise. That was really good. <laughs> Honestly, it kind of freaks out that a little was, bit. That was great. Sometimes you just got to chill, except there, apparently. I'd you're dead. Stay there, it's not yeah. wrong, man. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, just uh, doing oh, a 100% yeah. run right here. Hit them all, okay. <laughs> okay. Some pretty tough precision on this level. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, that was close. Nice. nice. Dude, I got to give a shout out to, uh, keep giving a shout out to a bunch of people. There's a bunch of people to give shout out to. Uh, uh, Walker on this level, uh, Walker without the E, uh, is a <laughs> member of the Super Mario Ball community. Uh, really awesome player, really awesome guy. Uh, also, I mentioned uh, Super Mario Ball Stardust and like, you know, custom music and hacks uh, for games. That's another one uh, where like Walker is just composing all the music for that, uh, for that fan game. Uh, and it's going to be awesome. Like he's uh, made some music before for uh, Monkey Ball fan games, which I love. Uh, I'm really excited for that. I don't know if you can tell. Um, Something I'm a little bit less ex oh, wow. excited for is the uh, next level. Um, it, this next level is probably the hardest strat in the game. Like, it's not too tough normally, but it's really long, and I'm trying to skip a lot of it. But that's a joke, though. But that's right? a joke. Yeah, right? but that's yeah. 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 Okay, okay. The skip's a joke. It's a good bit. Okay, so let's. One, two, go. Part one. That's I'm liking this joke so far. I haven't laughed yet, but I'm, I'm waiting on it. Oh, it'll hit. Oh! All right, that's okay, pretty funny. a little off, a little off. That was pretty I'm funny, man. Okay. I was really close to waving at us again right there. Did he was he, close, man? He was waiting just long enough. Oh, that's... Ooh, nice. nice. Yes. That still yeah, saves usually, a bunch of time. Yeah, that still saves a lot. Uh, usually, you know, you're supposed to like wait for those things to drop, go straight down. It like it takes forever. Also, funny thing about this level, um, with the kind of the weird state that the original uh, version of this game uh, was uh, when I submitted it, uh, this level actually wasn't possible um, because the kill plane uh, was over where the goal is. Um, so in previous versions of the run, before this like updated one that Eucalyptus made. Um, you had to uh, use like a menu glitch to skip that level, and it was really dumb. But thankfully, that actually is possible now. Um, as of like two weeks ago, I don't, I don't know if you know, like I, I got this version of this like uh, like the most updated one like less than 24 hours ago. You can just download like, this uh, this morning. Yeah, literally yeah. this morning. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just absolutely worked his butt off. Uh, I think he pulled like an all nighter uh, last night getting this done. Uh, so that is. Awesome. We're going to be heading just out of here soon. This is like the only easy auto scroller in the run. Yeah, these trees are weird. Uh, they don't have any leaves or anything. The leaves yeah. are gone. The leaves have left. Where do they go, dude? Leaves. This is it. Real quick, can we get a round of applause for Eucalyptus for actually putting this together? Because he, he Oh, yeah, really absolutely. Like, dude. Yeah, he put in so much work, man. Like. I won't die to the Reese's Cups. <laughs> Actually, I think they're, they're called the Grinders, the Nashers, and the 5 beat Slashers, if you will. It's I just called them the Beyblades. Oh. <laughs> That's fair. Well, they didn't let you rip, so... They didn't do it. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, this is probably the last, like, actually really hard level in the run, uh, namely because of what's at happening uh, at the top here. Um, we're going to be trying to avoid some switches. If I hit any of the switches, this... Oh, wow, that didn't hit. Okay. The scaffolding will start moving twice as fast. Okay, I'm not actually dead. Ooh. Okay. 
That's a dollar right Little there. Little runbacks? Maybe save. Maybe Dollars. Save. <laughs> True dollar die an extra, Yeah, I'm going to die an extra time just on the next stage. Just for, oh, how did that not click? Whoa. Yeah, the buttons don't really like to click in this game, except oh, when clicked. they do. Okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, we're not living. It, it's whipping around. <laughs> True dollar fan no longer. Dude, I, you know I had to do it, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need to ask for Tap a dollar for, on the to dollar. make up for that one. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. There that you one's, go. Yeah, that's a pretty hard one to avoid. Thankfully, there's um, buttons in this game don't really like to click too much. All right, what do you think? We just die here, right? That was pretty fun, right? Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. Fine, fine. Uh, Extra dollar. It's all good, it's all good. Any smarties? Oh, wait, I actually died. <laughs> <laughs> this almost like really easy. Uh, maybe you okay. weren't supposed to know that, but I'm a know, smart whatever. Enjoyer. Wait, this one looked really hard, actually. Yeah, that was first hard try. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, gonna be going on this thing. The Any real fans? Oh. oh, not me. <laughs> you got out of there. Yeah, you said you were a fan of calling them wires, but then I, I've heard you say rails a couple times today, too, so I feel like you're converting. Dude, maybe I am. Just gotta be like the middleman, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Middle monkey. Okay, <laughs> it's coming right up here. Uh, oh, that's. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> also, yeah, you can't really do anything early here. Um, the, the goal only pops out of the like cylinder uh, once it gets all the way to the end of the track. And also, yeah, you're you are not riding those rails. Those are incredibly thin. Um, Even if you could, it wouldn't be faster. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> it would not be faster. I think we have to throw it to a quick donation. Oh yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. Hey, sounds good to me. We got Dairud SMB saying, "It's not the ball that's super. It's the monkey inside." Hope this run goes without a single guiding problem. Roll, <laughs> he goes goal. Sincerely. The grill. Thank you for that fifty-four dollar and thirteen cent donation. Yeah, nice you, diary. Fifty-four thirteen. Wait, dude. wait. <laughs> that's some that's some complex joke yeah, that, right that's there. Like that goes deep. Shout out to the monkey girl. That's Shout a really out good to time on simple. I actually want to mention something on this level as well. I, I mentioned the whole thing about how uh, diagonals uh, help you get up slopes faster. You actually need to use diagonals to get up this slope. If you try and hold up this thing, you'll just go straight back down. So I got to like snake back here, and actually it gets pretty thin. So let's. You know, try and make it up this thing without getting off the side. My, um, my calves can feel that incline. That, yeah, eyes going, eyes man. Eyes working real hard. Get up there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! Working up a sweat just watching that. All right, gonna do some more wire room here. Uh, actually, uh, you know, heading up on the end of the run, I just uh, figured I'd say, uh, like, you know, there's so many, like, so many talented like creators, you know, making a bunch of uh, monkey bell stuff. Like, you know, when I think of uh, you know fan game communities, I I'm thinking of like you know, really popular games, you know, like Super Mario World, like you know, like Zelda stuff. You know, like I wouldn't think that there'd be so many people who just make such like awesome stuff for for monkey bell, which I you know it feels like a you know somewhat like niche-ish game, you know, compared to like Mario and stuff. So it's just like I, I just feel like you know really blessed to be around such like talented people all the time, you know, like. Like, I feel like it's it's like hard to run out of new things to play really a lot of times like there's just so many like oh get in there <laughs> yeah so many like just awesome people like shout outs to everyone who's like making backgrounds for this uh, for this game like Pinto Bean Metallico um, yeah Cutsman my brother uh, Die Rude ooh <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> and then uh, Twilight and uh, Spitz or Toothy goes by both. Uh, yeah, last level here. Time's going to end when we break the tape. Uh, it's going to come up pretty fast. The goal's moving really quickly here. Gonna fling ourselves out. Land right in here. And... and oh, not mine, oh, no, no, not mine, no, no, not mine. No, 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 <laughs> time! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Dude, 32, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that was a great really run. Double 32 is with a flat. That was an awesome run, dude. I mean, the death count was only 40. 40, wow, yeah. 40, 40 flat. Put that on my pizza. Not too shabby. Yeah, that is that is awesome. So, uh, yeah, if, if any of you are, you know, interested in, the, you know, playing uh, Super Monkey Ball uh, custom levels or creating your own, uh, we have a, uh, like, a Discord, a Super Monkey Ball... Uh, uh, custom level workshop Discord. Uh, there's a bunch of like awesome, uh, you know, games you can download. A bunch of awesome, uh, 
like uh, tutorials for how to make stuff just using uh, just like Blender or any other like 3D modeling software. It's really awesome. There's just so many just great people making stuff that you can you can literally just play, man. Like that's it's like crazy, man. Uh, do you guys like have anything to to say? Like I, I feel like I just that like flew by, you know? Not really, man. That was a great run. Yeah, yeah honored yeah. to be on your couch. Super Mario Bros. just epic, me. dude. This game, this game is wind sauce, I would say. Yeah. Play more monkey ball. Yeah, play more monkey ball. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna say the same thing. Yeah, so we want to throw it over. I'm like pretty much done here, you know. <laughs> Dude, maybe I should play the credits a little. Give it up one more time for Ike SMB and that incredible. Somewhat anxious, but still pretty satisfying Kaizo Monkey Ball run. We get ourselves a $5 donation from Kerry Smush saying what we are all thinking. Shout out to the marble with the screaming monkey inside. Thank you so much. Quick update on Fire and Flames Clone Hero, $21,663. That is proceeding apace, but that is going to be coming up absolutely quick. So please, pretty please, when you get your donations in, go ahead and put those towards that incentive by scrolling on the thing and clicking on the yes button. I don't know why they make us work for it, but you got to work for it. You put in the work, we're going to have a good time. And again, there is an encore for that. There is a speed run. So keep on getting those donations in. When we return, we're going to see one of the coolest runs from Frost Fatales 2023. Run by one of the coolest runners, like, ever, get their time on the GDQ main stage. When we return again here at Summer Games Done Quick 2023, we will be right back. Darien es como una pesadilla que uno estuviera en la pesadilla con los mil y un demonios. Eh, realmente uno aquí se encuentra con muchas cosas que uno no se imagina pues y obstáculos que uno tiene que superar y cosas que uno no creía que las iba a hacer y que iba a pasar por esto y mucha gente no las supera y entonces yo soy cocinera yo trabajaba en Uruguay en un buen restaurante y cerró por el COVID también ya no tenía vida y bueno tengo que seguir adelantando que es cuando empezamos a entrar a la selva eh, eran prácticamente como 600 inmigrantes o sea, un grupo de 600 entre todos, entre haitianos, venezolanos, eh, cubanos, y ahí van saliendo por grupos como de 50, de 60, y van. Inicialmente con dos guías que nos colaboraron en el, en el grupo y nos hicieron una avanzada más o menos de unos un día y una noche y un día hasta un punto que es un río y ya allá le dicen a uno que va a comenzar a tomar la famosa montaña de la muerte. Está derrumbado por completo. Imagínate que es una loma uniéndose con otra loma. Y lo que lo unía se derrumbó. Y que quedó un filo que es de este ancho así y el peñasco para abajo. La muchacha se resbaló y cayó por el precipicio y guau. Wow. Me dio un dolor en el corazón de no poder hacer nada. Y las demás personas vieron, gritaron, pero siguieron. Seguimos subiendo. Ya, de tanto subir la loma, de tanto subir la montaña, la gente bota su peso. Bota ropa, comida, bolso, carpa. Y llegamos a Río. El sitio más peligroso que yo hizo es el Río. Hay un, hay, una, hay un que le dicen, creo que tres cruces que fue horrible porque teníamos que cruzar y en el cruce se llevó a dos haitianas a la otra orilla del río, la arrastró el río y logramos cruzar por otro lado que era la corriente más bajita pero era más hondo y una vez que cruzamos, que subimos la montaña que bajamos, me dice mi amigo cubano, ah eso es una niña 
y pasó una niña, un cadáver de una niña haitiana por delante de nosotros. Toda la noche soñando con, con eso. La mayor parte de mi recorrido fue con un señor, ya de edad, él me dijo, él miró hacia más adelante y me dijo, nos van a saltar. Eh, pistolas, cuchillos, a una muchacha se la llevaron sola, a su sae y al esposo estaba que se paraba. So, some of people want to run. It's me, it's the group. I speak to them, I say no, I say everybody cool down. I say yeah, there is no way to go. Dejamos dos días antes de donde me recogió la lancha y estaba en la, en la punta de una loma, dentro de la casa de campaña, ahí esperando y, la, y, so, y un señor mayor, porque la esposa, la esposa estaba afuera y decía, por favor, azúcar, alimento, y nosotros le dimos también. Summer Games Done Quick 2023 is proudly sponsored by PM Studios. Hey, and we do have a message here in the sponsor read from PM Studios. They say, looking forward to more brilliant runs and memorable moments this year. Best of luck, runners. And to all the indie fans in the crowd, that's all of you out there, come see the PM Studios lineup featuring our hottest indie demos at bitly, that is bit.ly slash epc dash steam bit.ly slash exophobia dash steam, bit.ly slash let's underscore school dash steam, and join the PM Studios Discord at discord.gg slash PM Studios. And Summer Games Done Quick 2023 will be returning after these brief messages. I didn't mention all that stuff, and we got a little turnaround. So uh, after the prediction game, uh, one donation, and then we'll throw to the interview and the prediction game. All right. Surprise.
Okey pokey artichokies. Welcome back to Summer Games Done Quick 2023. Raising money to benefit Médecins Sans Frontier. We got ourselves a $50 donation from Flaming Sarge saying TTFAF, please. Exactly. We're trying to get through the Fire and Flames on the set list for Clone Hero later tonight. Currently sitting at almost $23,500 out of the $60,000 needed. Is this happening, everyone? Is it happening? Can we do it? Can we do it? This audience believes in you, chat. Let's keep it going. And now it is time for an interview. Get hyped for the iconic Ruby Hart. It's going to be talking with Scoots and Friff, the runners of tonight's Rhythm Block. <laughs> 